grant to surveys of those that teach materials to undergraduate engineers show consistently that their number one concern is with engaging students in the subject. Engaged students learn more and are more enjoyable to teach. The Products, Materials and Processes database has been developed to encourage this engagement. It appeals to the curiosity of engineers and demonstrates the value of materials knowledge. It also aims to inspire design students through real product examples. Bringing together the engineering and design perspectives means students in both areas learn about each other's roles and will communicate better when they work together on future project teams. Well-designed products provide both function and satisfaction. Materials and processes play a key role in achieving both. This database introduces that role, encouraging exploration and self-education. Let's take a look. As a student opens up the database, what they first see is an inspiring set of products. They can browse through them and get more information about each product, its design, and importantly, about how and from what it was made. Here we see the iconic iMac, a great example of how well-designed products provide both function and satisfaction. The designer, Jonathan Ive and Apple, had to explore different polymers and moulding technologies to get the right combination of performance and aesthetics. Thinking about such challenges demonstrates to students why it's important to study materials properties. Here's another example, the Smart City Coupe, whose polymer body panels reduce weight and can be coloured, removing the need for paint which can chip. When we open the material record from the product, we have two ways to visualise its datasheet, the designer's view and the engineer's view. The default is the designer's view. An image showing a typical use of the material is followed by a description and composition information, then density and price data followed by aesthetic attributes. Aesthetic attributes are things that students can understand easily, such as warmth or pitch, but that are determined by physical properties. A science note allows students to explore this relationship. Now let's take the engineer's view of the materials data in the database. Here we can quickly access reliable data across the whole range of different materials. Data is available on mechanical, thermal, electrical and eco properties, as well as durability. Design guidelines and typical uses of materials at the end of each record help the student gain context and relate these properties back to the function of the product. Materials can be selected for a particular application using the systematic methods developed by Professor Mike Ashby. In this database, aesthetics as well as engineering attributes can be used to find a potential substitute material. Links to information about which processes can be applied to a particular material are helpful in narrowing down both material and process choices. The beauty of this database is it helps students to engage with materials and processes, whether they're motivated by great design, by science, or both. So the design student gains material knowledge and the engineering student gains a new perspective on the importance of material properties. Follow this link to arrange a demonstration to find out more about the database, how to access it, and how, together with its associated teaching resources, it can support your teaching.